Now in this example we have to solve the quadratic inequality 10 minus 3x minus x squared is greater than 0. And the special thing about this particular question is that the x squared term is negative. And the way I deal with negative x squared terms in inequalities is to multiply through by negative 1. That will make this a plus x squared term. But you've got to be very careful. So I'll show you why. Okay, so we're going to multiply through by minus 1. So we end up with minus 10 plus 3x plus x squared. But this is the bit where you've got to be very careful because you must remember that when you multiply by a negative number, in this case minus 1, the inequality that you have must always be reversed. So this is a greater than, so I change it round to a less than sign and I get 0. Okay. Now this is in the wrong order for factorising. It's much better to lead off with the x squared term. So I'm going to change it round and we have therefore x squared, then we have the plus 3x, and then the minus 10 is less than 0. And now what we do is basically carry on as before. That is, assuming it factorises, and this one does, we factorise it, two brackets, OK, don't forget to put the less than zero on the end. And if we factorise this, we end up with an x and an x, and then a 5 and a 2. So we have a plus 5x, and by putting that minus in, we have a minus 2x, and that combines to give the plus 3x. OK? Again, don't make the common mistake, x plus 5 is less than 0, or x minus 2 is less than 0. No, don't do that. Just go straight in and say, for the critical values, OK? For the critical values, what we have is that we treat this as if it equals 0, and if it were to equal 0, then x plus 5 would equal 0, or the x minus 2 would equal 0. And solving this, we would have that therefore x equals minus 5 or x equals 2. Remember now, all we do is we draw a sketch. Don't forget to label your axes, x and y. We draw a sketch then of the graph that we're trying to solve. Now you can be careful here because the critical values came from this part here and so I'm sketching the graph of x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2 is less than 0 or essentially x squared plus 3x minus 10 is less than 0. So I'm going to put that down here, the graph then of y equals x squared plus 3x minus 10. Don't make the mistake of writing this one down. Okay, so we got the critical values from this particular function here which was the same as this one. Now the critical values were minus 5 and 2 and that's where the y value is equal to 0 and that is where this particular graph would cross the x-axis. So mark in minus 5 and 2 okay, and this particular graph again has a positive x squared term and it is u-shaped. Okay, So if we sketch the parabola in, it comes down through the minus 5 and then back up again through the 2, something like that. Let's say it's only a sketch, it doesn't have to be absolutely accurate. So what are we looking for? In this particular example we're looking for this particular quantity, which we've called y, being less than 0. And y is less than 0 when it is below the x-axis. OK, so that's this part of the curve, going round here and up to the 2. So we're looking for values of x in this region. So we can see that from the graph, that x has to lie between minus 5 and 2. So I'm just going to say that therefore from the graph, 
Okay. X lies between, and the lies between is this type of thing, between minus 5 and 2. And so that's how I go about solving a negative x squared quadratic inequality.